Hello, Libras, and happy birthday. It is the Sun Sage doing your October readings to see what could be going on for you throughout the month of October. Um, I'll have a few predictions for you. Um, I'm going to pick up some energies to see what's going to be surrounding you during your birthday month. Also, happy birthday to you, September Libras. You're included in the happy birthday, but you know, I want to make sure you guys feel seen. Um, so I am going to pick up on some October energies to see what's coming in and going on for you guys. Um, also keep in mind, these are general messages. So take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. If you would like a more personal October prediction, make sure you check out the details in the description box for a, um, for information on a book on, for information on booking a personal reading with me. All right. So let's get some main energies for you in the month of October, Libra, to see what is coming in. All right. What's coming in for you guys? The month of October, Libras. Let's see. Friendship. Okay. So you're getting possibly a new person in your inner circle. There's possibility that your bonds could grow deeper with your friends. Let's see what else we have for you. Truth. Okay. Truth is coming through. All right. You are the sign of justice. So there could be something pertaining to law, legal stuff, or just truths coming through, breaking free. All right. So um, I feel like the month of October for you guys, I'm going to clarify all of those messages, but I feel like what's mainly coming through is October is going to be a really enlightening period for you and the relationships that you are in. Okay. Um, I feel as if friendship is showing up because there's a possibility you will strengthen your bond with um, somebody you could be connected to right now. Um, you, it could build, right? It could grow, but it's, it's important to strengthen that bond with that person first, right? I feel like that can start with truths. I feel like that starts with getting to know more about one another. I feel like that's going deeper into your relationship to, um, see what it is you really do enjoy about this person or your friends and, and if you guys are compatible, right? Getting to the bottom of it. And I feel like breaking free is actually coming through is because it feels like you're going to have some pretty freeing relationships, relationships where you can be yourself, relationships where you don't feel like they're toxic and holding on to you. So let's just see how this plays out with the clarifiers. All right. So Libra, what do I have for you for friendship? Why is that showing up here? What's going on in October for you with friendships? The King of Swords, okay? So yeah, I do feel like this is more conversation with somebody you're getting close to or you will be getting close to in the month of October. Maybe a kindred spirit air sign coming into your life or maybe your best friend is an Aquarius, right? Also Gemini and Libra here, but there is confirmation that you are dealing with a, a friendship circle that feels like it is... um it, it's already like you guys have the elements of a lifelong friendship. You already have something here with somebody who tells you the truth or somebody you can tell the truth to and you guys respect it. And so I feel like your bond with your friends will strengthen in the month of um October. It looks like you do have this King of Swords can be, you know, a friend who is helpful for you in a legal sense. The King of Swords sometimes can come through as a mentor, can sometimes come through as somebody who is helping you clear things up or clear things out. So let's see how that plays a part. Um, it's the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Um, if there's a friendship that you've been questioning, I feel like in October, you get some clarity, right? I feel like you maybe confront a friend and it doesn't have to be like this, like dramatic, uh, conflict ridden, uh, sort of confrontation. It can definitely be a talk. It can definitely be a, Hey, let's sit down. So there's something coming through that you will have an opportunity to like get things cleared up with a friend. The seven of cups feel, yeah, because the eight of cups in the reverse feels like you're dealing with somebody. Um, I do even pick up, you know, like I was saying, for those of you in a connection, working on your friendship bond with each other, getting to know each other, working on your trust with each other before you go into those romantic aspects. But it does feel like there's a, like a true pair situation. Like, you know, your friends can be soulmates too. And so I just feel like there's a relationship in your life that may have gotten a little bit off track in October. 
October is about you guys getting back on track, right? That feels like spending time together. That feels like doing things together. Again, having important conversations, letting these truths come out without being offended. So I do feel like if you were, con- if you were feeling like maybe you were starting to outgrow your friend or your friendship circle, it feels as if you don't really want to walk away from this, right? These are people that have been supportive of you. These are people that you genuinely feel tell you the truth when you need it. And so it doesn't feel beneficial with the eight of cups and the reverse to walk away from that. However, with the seven of cups, I just feel like maybe sometimes um, in that truth telling energy, there may have been some misunderstanding that you thought that you were being picked on by friends and maybe they were just looking out for you. So I feel like the eight of cups is if you were considering uh, disconnecting from certain people in your life or a certain per- person in particular, you're changing your mind about that. Okay. So, um, let's see why we have this eight of cups in the reverse for you for the month of October. The three of cups in the reverse. So yeah, this really does feel like friendships. Um, I feel like you get a better sense of who's your friend, who are your friends in October and who's not plain and simple, right? I feel like If there have been friends in your life who tell you an uncomfortable truth, sometimes you may question if they're sincere about that or if they are picking on you. And I feel like there are people here who may tell you what you want to hear, but that doesn't really help you make important decisions. And so this is where you start reevaluating who's your friend, who's not your friend. Also, with this three of cups in the reverse, this feels like you start realizing who's your real friend based on what you're planning for your birthday. I feel as if someone doesn't show up. I feel as if there's energies that you are throwing something or someone's throwing something for you and you determine based on who shows up to that event, how important you are to them. Okay. So I do feel some sort of, a. Uh, um, insight coming through for you when it comes to your friendships, right? Who's real? Who's not? The three of cups here in the reverse. Let's see why that's here before we move on for you, Libras. It's the seven of swords. Yep. You're about to see what's real and what's not when it comes to your friendship circle. There is a chance the people who have been telling you the truth, you may have started to question. We literally have the king of swords here with the seven of cups, right? You weren't sure whether to take their advice. You weren't sure whether they were really looking out for you, but it looks like they were because I do feel the energies here. uh, They may have even been right about somebody else in your friendship circle. They may have been right about somebody you're connected to, right? Romantically. So I do feel like you are going to get who's really here for you 100% when your birthday shows up, okay? Um, Some of you are going to, this is a, a confrontational energy with this seven of swords. So, you know, again, confrontations don't have to be drama. They don't have to be heightened and intense, but they can be. And I feel like for you guys, that balance that you internally have will be, will be, uh, um, <laughs> tested in the month of October, right? Who should you like, give the benefit of the doubt to versus who needs to go. All right. So let's see what the truth is. Okay. In the month of October, there's a truth coming out. There are some truthful words spoken. Let's see what this is about for you. All right. on offer Libra is the Ace of Cups, all right? Someone may reveal that they love you, that they have feelings for you, all right? I do feel as if some of you may have been dealing with somebody that it was time to let go of. You made that decision maybe a few weeks ago, a few months ago. It doesn't feel recent. It feels like you've already made that decision not to, you know, carry on with that person. So some of you are getting someone new, Specifically, if they're a water sign, right? If they're a water sign coming in, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there's a good chance that this person is sincerely trying to get close to you for the right reasons, right? This could be somebody who's dating. This could be somebody who is focused on you and wants to prioritize you. So just be mindful. Everybody's not just going to be out to hurt you or everybody's not going to be out for their own motives. It actually looks like there's somebody here with some genuine motives here that's coming in. And this person may be already around you. And in October, they just may reveal how they feel about you. So let's see why the Ace of Cups is here with this truth. There's also Libras here that will reveal that you love someone. Okay. This may be something that you were holding on to for the right time. Ten of Pentacles. 
it's possible that your birthday really is a, a big event in October and a lot of things go down, right? From discovering who's your real friend, who's not, discovering that somebody loves you, uh, discovering someone, discovering that you love them. So there's a, there's a couple of revelations coming through. I also feel like this 10 of pentacles is confirmation that a lot of you are going to get closer to your family unit. Okay. The 10 of pentacles is confirmation that you may see like a lot more support, a lot more, Mm, you like you may get a lot of gifts from your family for your birthday, a lot of recognition. And so that's something that could bring you closer to people that you may have felt disconnected from. It just feel like there's it just feels like there's a lot of healing here in relationships. I feel like that's what October will be about for you, healing the relationships in your life and getting rid of the ones that don't work. Eight of Pentacles, right? So romantically, there could be a water sign or earth sign now, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who does genuinely want to get closer to you. And so they may show you that in a tangible way, presenting you with a gift, maybe inviting you to their home. They could cook for you. They could say, you know, show up to my job. I have something for you. There are some Libras that are going to get some special treatment in the month of October. I feel like this is a new beginning in your life. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, it is another uh, year around the sun and it's a milestone for that reason. But but there's also something in your life that it feels like you're going to be given that's new for you. It could be a new relationship. It could be the start of a new friendship circle, meeting new people. It does feel like it, it's beneficial to you with these pentacles here. What's this eight of pentacles about? Uh, five of pentacles. I feel like, um, cause I was just about to say, I feel like you learned the truth about someone's finances as well. And so if somebody has been MIA from your life, they could have been struggling financially and you won't hear the truth of that until October. All right. There's a chance that there will be Libras here that have, um, experienced some recent, you know, financial setbacks. And I do feel like as hard as you're working, as much as you have going on for yourself, you could be doing exactly what you love. Love, you may still have had some sort of financial challenges. So I feel like the will of fortune is confirmation that a lot of you will start to see improvement in your finances in October. Again, you may be connecting to a lover or family members and friends who actually give you money for your birthday. So that could come in handy. Um, I do feel gifts like for you, will of fortune actually showing up here. So I do feel like material gifts coming in for you. I feel monetary gifts coming in for you in October. Some of you have already been expecting this, but for those of you where you're not used to this happening, you know, it could show up that you're like you win the lottery, right? The will of fortune. You bet on a game and you actually win. Your luck could be good, could be great. <laughs> and um and um October, we have uh, Jupiter here with the Will of Fortune. So that's about luck and that's about expansion and positivity. So I do feel like you could have some better experiences with finances coming in. And I also feel like for those of you that have, have experienced financial setbacks, there's a possibility that your family comes through and helps you out. Okay. So breaking free, let's see what you're breaking free from. What are Libras breaking free from the month of October? Thank you. Knight of Wands. Okay, that makes sense. So some of you are breaking free from strictly passionate connections. All right, I had a hard time getting that out. But, you know, some of you may have had a difficult time releasing somebody that you're incredibly attracted to, but this person may not have brought much to the table except for excitement and occasional passion, right? I feel like you're breaking free from that, right? Anytime you're breaking free from this type of energy, which is very exciting and something that's unpredictable and, and, and kind of risky and fun, it feels like you're looking for something different. So I already felt it in your energy where you're starting to reevaluate your relationships, who's in your life, who doesn't need to be in your life. That Knight of Wands feels like some of you may literally be breaking free from a Sagittarius in your life who may not bring much to the table, but there's also energy seven of wands that you're breaking free from these types of connections, the types of connections where you don't really get much out of it, but some sort of physical pleasure. And even that is temporary. 
justice. That's your energy Libras. So it's confirmation that you guys are the one that are making the tough decisions and the good decisions. It's a balance of both, right? Uh, it's a, it's a mix of both. You're clearing out certain things in your life. You're bringing in other things in your life. You're clearing out certain relationships and you're bringing in new relationships. So I feel like you guys are rejecting and refusing to deal with anybody who feels like they're only bringing one thing to the table, right? A physical attraction, something passionate, but it's not lasting. Seven of Wands is saying you're going to stand up for yourself against someone who may have been taking advantage of you. Um, what's the Seven of Wands for Libras? Thank you. Yeah, it's the Six of Swords. And I feel like you feel so much better when you do it. All right. You're going to feel such a relief. Yeah. You guys just feel like you're closing the door on drama in October. Okay. Friendship drama, family drama. It's, it's pertaining to the relationships, right? I'm not feeling a lot of work drama. That doesn't mean you don't have it, but it's not the strongest energy for you. I feel like you are releasing things and moving away from energies that are not going to pour into you and benefit you, right? If you were dealing with like a knight of wands, somebody who, you know, nothing against them. They are who they are, but it doesn't seem to be in alignment with who you are. It feels like you are finally coming to the conclusion this isn't going to work. And so you make that decision to stand up for yourself and create boundaries for that person. And again, it feels like it's a, a relief and a breath of fresh air that you do it, right? So I feel like the focus is definitely going to be on you, two of pentacles here for October, because I feel like you guys are are putting people like, I don't want to say on the chopping block, but it really does feel like you are sort of like going through your relationships and kind of like, okay, you stay, you go, you stay, you go to a pentacles, right? I feel as if, if there's anybody showing up shady or iffy and consistent, you don't want any parts of it. All right. You want more consistency and balance in your life. Some of you may actually feel like the reason why I struggled or the reason why I couldn't get my life together is because look at the people I'm surrounded by. I'm surrounded by other people who don't have it together. Maybe I need to change my association. So that's something that feels like it's coming through for you guys. Let's see what else we have for you with this Six of Swords and Breaking Free. It's a Two of Swords. Yep, you're the decision maker. So it's going to be an eventful month for you guys because I feel the coming and going of certain relationships. I also feel the financial abundance starting to play a part in how you make your decisions. That's for you guys who are starting to see things improve or will start to see things improve in your finances. It's kind of like you're going to go, you know, I got to get rid of people who always have their hand out and asking me for things and asking me for money, but don't want to do any work themselves. So I just feel like, you know, there's something that you've been stuck on when it comes to your relationships that it feels like you're gaining clarity. But the two of swords is confirmation that it's a big month for you to make some big decisions. This is where you go. OK, I just had my birthday. I turned 25 or 30 or 40 or 50, like whatever you're age is, right? It doesn't have to be a milestone age, but it's just a time in your life where you're going, I don't want to go into another year dealing with these same energies. So it feels like you're wanting to clear those out in October. Yep. Queen of Wands, you're embracing your inner goddess, your inner diva, your inner emperor, whatever high energy you connect to. It feels like you are going to be embracing that. All right. The Queen of Wands is confirmation that a lot of you are going to be celebrating yourself because of course in the month of October you're going to be looking great somebody has a white birthday ensemble already picked out you have some sort of event or gala you could be attending it feels like you have an opportunity to get fancy maybe to put some of those decisions those tough decisions that you have to make to the side and allow yourself to have fun for a night or two but I do feel like you get right back to business and breaking free from the things that don't work for you. So I'm going to grab another message for you guys. Um, let's see what we have to see. Nostalgia, focus on the here and now, okay? This feels important for you in October. I do feel as if you guys have been hanging on to certain people 
just maybe because you're used to them, right? They're a part of your life. They have been for years, but this feels like a breaking free. These two energies right here, the two of swords and the queen of wands, and you have breaking free. So I feel like if you're evolving and you're starting to notice more success in your life and you're experiencing blessings, um, it's only natural that you're going to start to look at the people surrounding you and go, are these people a part of my success and my evolution or have they been played a role in holding me back? And if they have, well, that two of swords is confirmation that it's time for you to decide whether they stay or go in your life. It personally feels like you want to be liberated from certain energies and certain people. And you do have the power in October to do it. You could be just filling yourself. But this nostalgia here is whatever you're used to and comfortable with. October is the month you get out of that comfort zone and you allow yourself to experience that brand new you guilt-free. Okay. Um, sometimes when people start changing and growing and you start outgrowing the people around you, you may start feeling a little bit of guilt, right? That you don't want to do the same things with them that you used to. This is a guilt-free um, self-love here. And I feel like you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of that in the month of October. Okay. So Libra, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.